Not so they use the Maori New Year. It celebrates family, friends, and loved ones. It's a time to come together, appreciating and celebrating those that give us the support and motivation that lasts us throughout the year. This year, Matariki stars rise on June 19th and disappear on July 11th. Thank you, Nati Tower, for the knowledge we are sharing today. During the coldest time each year, the Matariki star cluster comes rising up for the first time in the eastern sky. This always happens in the early morning just before the sun gets out of bed. We keep, a look, we keep a lookout for this happening because it marks the beginning of an important time of year, the Maori New Year. This is a time for the coming together of our whanau, our family, to think about the past year, plan for the future. Each member of our whanau plays their own special part, sharing their wisdom, especially our grandparents and mums and dads. Did you know that nine stars of Matariki are a family? The star Matariki is the mother and she has eight daughters. Two Puanuku, two Puarani, Waipuna Arani, Waiti and Waita, Ududani, Pututakawa and Hiwa Itirani. The journey they take with their mother each year across the sky is to come and visit their Tupuna Wahine, their grandmother, Tupuanuku, the earth. Tupuanuku, the eldest, spends her time with Papa Tuanuku tending to the different growing plants. She pays special attention to making sure they have everything they need to grow big and strong. So they can produce kai, rongroa medicines and kaka clothing. When we see her shining, we are reminded to spend time growing our strengths as well as those of our, as well as those of our friends. Tupuarangi loves to sing and has a song for every occasion. Papa takes her to sing for Te Wamui Atane, all the children of the forest. Her beautiful voice revives the forest. Tupuarangi learns these songs and holds them close to her heart. We learn from her the importance of sharing our gifts with others. Waipunarangi accompanies her grandmother to the waters, the oceans, lakes, and rivers where she prepares the children of Tamaroa to feed the people. Papa teaches her about the water that fell down from Rangi Nui, collects together to provide drinking water for the people, animals, and plants. Waipuna Raki knows that if you give to others, all that kindness will come back to you. Waitu and Waita are Matiki's twins. Papa knew they would be able to care for the smallest and fastest of creatures, the insects. Because, like the insects, they know how to work as a team. Bees pollinate all the flowers, and ants build huge tunnel cities underneath the ground. When we see these two stars in the sky, we are encouraged to join in and support each other. in her arms settling for her favourite stories. Her excitement helps Papa to get into the right mood after the cold and darkness to prepare with the others. A good attitude is always the key to success. Puhutakawa holds tight to our memories of treasured people who have passed on. She encourages us to take time to remember them and to acknowledge their impact on our lives. Hiwa Itirangi is a wishing star who helps us to recognize our hopes, dreams and aspirations for the coming year. She encourages us to hold firm to our goals and seek out opportunities to see them really. What about Matariki, you might ask? Well, she's doing what all the mums do. 
watching over their children, supporting them, helping them, encouraging them, sharing their strengths, helping them do their best. As you can see, Matariki is a very special time of the year because it brings out the best in us. We hope you can join in celebrating Matariki this year. Next year, there will be a public holiday for Matariki. Thank you. Thank you. 